Hello and welcome back to SciTi Tech. In this video, I'm going to share how to make a 9 volt battery nightlight with using a BC547 transistor. Let's get started. <laughs> And this is the schematic to make the night light circuit with using a BC547 transistor. As you can see, I made the circuit on a breadboard. Let's go ahead and test out its features. Power it by 9 volts, and this is what you get. And as you can see, it works just like this. And these are the items that you're going to need to make for this circuit. The items you're going to need is a 9 volt battery, 9 volt battery clip, a photoresistor, a 100k ohm resistor, a 1BC547 transistor, and a perf board, and an energy efficient LED light bulb, which is powered by AC voltage. What I need to do for this project is I need to open it up and modify the circuit. By modifying the circuit, I need to remove this LED that is attached to the circuit board and discard the rest of the components. And the only circuit that I'm interested in is this LED. This part right here is negative, and the other pin is positive. And here is the LED driver circuit that also contains a full bridge rectifier, and this circuit can be very useful to use for future projects, but not in this video, so I'm going to go ahead and put it to the side. What I need to do is cut off this bottom part because I do not require this bottom portion. And it should look just like this. And I only require these parts that came from this LED light bulb. Next, I'm going to take my perf board and I'm going to go ahead and place my BC547 transistor into place. Solder it into place. Next, I need to take my photoresistor and place it on the base and emitter of the transistor. And don't push the photoresistor all the way because you're going to need the length of those wires. Solder it into place, just like this, so that way you can keep the position. Now, solder the rest of it into place, and bend over the leads, so that way you can solder bridge it to the base and emitter of the transistor, just like this. There we go. Photoresistor is now connected to the base and emitter of the transistor, and it shall look just like this. Next, I'm going to take the 100k ohm resistor and place it on the base of the transistor. One pin touches the base and the other pin is free, just like this. And then solder bridge it to the base of the transistor. There we go, she'll look just like this. Cut off the excess. And there. Next, I'm going to take a drill and drill a hole in the base of this housing. The diameter of the hole will fit the size of the photoresistor, and it should look just like this. I have right here the LED circuit, and I'm going to take my positive and negative wire and solder them into these pins. Solder the negative into place, and the positive into place, and it should look just like this. Next, I'm going to take the cathode of the LED and solder it to the collector of the transistor. Bend over the leads, just like this, and then solder bridge it together. And there we go, it should look just like this. Next I'm going to take the anode from the LED and then solder it to the free wire that is on the 100k ohm resistor. Bend over the lead and solder bridge it just like that, and cut off the excess. Next, I'm going to take a positive and negative wire and solder it to my 9 volt battery clip and then solder those wires to the circuit. First, I'm going to take the positive wire and solder it to the other positive wire of the circuit. Bend over the lead and then solder bridge it to the positive. Next, I'll take the negative wire and solder it to the photoresistor that is also connected to the emitter of the transistor. Bend over the lead and then solder bridge it together. And there we go, it should look just like this. Next, I need to assemble these components together and then the project will be complete. 
Next, I'm going to take some hot glue and place it on top of the circuit, just to keep the photoresistor insulated from the rest of the circuit. There we go, she'll look just like this. Next, I'm going to place some more hot glue onto the photoresistor. A thin amount, so that way the photoresistor is still flexible. And there we go, she'll look just like this. And there we go, bend the photoresistor over just like that. Next, I'm going to take my circuit and place it into the housing, just like this. Place it inside so the photoresistor can appear through the hole, just like that. And then I'm going to take some hot glue and fill it up in the inside, which will then hold the circuit into place and hold this LED into place. And there we go, everything is now secured into place. Next, I'm going to put the top piece on and that's for cosmetic reasons. And there, your housing is nearly complete. And now for the final step, I need to attach my 9 volt battery clip to the positive and negative wire, just like this. And there we go, the circuit is now complete. Twist the wires a little bit like this. Take a generous amount of hot glue, place it in, and push it together. And it should look just like this. More hot glue surrounding the sides to make it look a little bit nicer and to hold it into place better. And there, your device is now complete. Now I'm going to go ahead and take my 9 volt battery and test it out. And as you can see, the light's off because there's light shining on the photoresistor. As soon as I cover the photoresistor, the LED will turn on. Just like this. And as you can see, the circuit works. Now let's go ahead and test it out and see what it looks like in the dark. As you can see, as soon as I turn the lights off, the LED turns on. Lights turn on, the LED turns off. As you can see, this is a perfect portable nightlight. And even if I cast a shadow over the photoresistor, the LED turns on. And there you have it. Now you know how to make your very own 9 volt battery nightlight with using a BC547 transistor and a few other simple components. And this device is a very useful device. You can use it as a portable nightlight and place anywhere you want. And there you have it. Thank you for watching SciTitech. I hope you learned something new and don't forget to like and subscribe and of course click on the bell icon to be notified for future SciTitech videos. Till the next tech, goodbye.